Hey, hey, seventh grade. So our learning target for today is I can draw an image after a translation and determine its new coordinates. You should be on page 18. So we're going to talk about translations today. All right, so here we go. So what is a translation? A translation is a slide of a figure on the coordinate plane. So you're going to take a figure, you're going to slide it around, you're going to move it on the coordinate plane. It's the same idea as if you're going to move an icon um, around on a computer screen or your cell phone. A couple rules, though, is it must be congruent. So when you move the icon on the screen, it has to be the same size and the same shape when you move it. No turning, no flipping, same size, same shape. Can't make it bigger, can't make, make it smaller. Congruent, no turning, no flipping. So that's kind of what has to be true in order for us to have a translation. We're gonna move it, we can't turn it, we can't flip it, it has to stay the same size. So some new language though, the new figure after the translation is gonna be called today an image. The image, the new translation. So we're gonna talk through that language as we go. What is an image and how do we model the image? Okay, so for this first problem here, it says that we're going to slide the figure four units left and one unit up. Before we do that, we're going to go ahead and label this triangle. So we have a triangle. You can label it any way you want, but you should be following along with me and make sure that we label it the same way so there isn't confusion as we move on. But you literally can label it any way you want. So we're going to label it A, B, C. Go ahead and follow along. A, B, C is tri the triangle there. And what we're going to do is we're going to move that triangle four units left and one unit up, one unit up. Four left and one unit up. So we're gonna go ahead and practice how we write that in coordinates. So everything is in the form of X comma Y. Our left right movement happens first. Remember, go find the elevator first and then up and down. So if we're gonna go four left, it would be an X minus four is the translation. That's four left. And then we get on the elevator and we go one up. So our up movement would be positive one. So this is how we would write the translation x minus 4 comma y plus 1. And to move this, we're going to move each of those coordinates. So we're going to take a, we're going to move it 4 left up 1 and plot our new point. So here's our coordinate. We're going to go left 1, 2, 3, 4 up 1, which gives us a prime. And then b, we're going to move 4 left up 1. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4 up 1, which is b prime. C, we're going to take the C coordinate, we're going to go 4 left, up 1. So we're going to go left, 1, 2, 3, 4, up 1. Let's try that again, 1, 2, 3, 4, up 1. So that's our translation then of A prime, B prime, C prime. We move the entire triangle or to the left, up 1. We move from triangle A, B, C to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime, that's our translation of left four up one. That's the first example for translations. Okay, guys, so we're going to move on to the next example, example two. We first are going to write the coordinates or the translation out in coordinates. So elevator comes first, five units to the right, the elevator. What are we going to do to find the elevator if it's five units to the right? We're going to go plus five. X plus five, elevator comes first, up and down comes second. After we find the elevator, we're going to get on the elevator, we're going to go down four, which is a negative movement. So your coordinate in the translation form should be x plus five comma y minus four. Everybody should have x plus five comma y minus four. The next problem then, oh, well, I guess we have to move that. Sorry about that. So we're going to take this triangle. We should label it. Well, this time I'm going to label it x, y, z, just to switch it up a little bit, x, y, z. And we're going to take that entire triangle and we're going to move it right five down four. So we're gonna take X coordinate, we're gonna move it right five down four. So for here's our X, right. One, two, three, four, five, and then go down. One, two, three, four, ends up right here. Right five down four becomes what we call X prime because it's new. It's the image, it's new. X prime. Then we're gonna take the coordinate Y and we're gonna move it right five down four. So we're gonna count. Right, one, two, three, four, five, Turn the corner, go down one, two, three, four. This is what we would call Y prime. Now, if I'm going too fast, you should pause the video. If you have a sub today, you should respectfully and politely ask if you could pause the video if it's too fast. And then the Z coordinate. The Z coordinate, we're going to move right five down four. So we're going to right move right one, two, three, four, five down one, two, three, four. And that's our Z prime, giving us this triangle here A prime, or pardon me, X prime. 
X prime, Y prime, Z prime. That's the new coordinates because it's the image whenever you write the primes on there. Those little apostrophes like they are in language arts, they become primes in math, which means they're new or the image. Okay, guys, example three now. So we're going to write our coordinates X comma Y. We're going to find the elevator first, up, down, second. So it says to go four units up. But that's all it says. It doesn't say anything about finding the elevator, which means that the elevator must be right there. So we're going to go ahead and leave it as X. And four units up, up would be Y plus 4. X comma Y plus 4. So our translation then is X comma Y plus 4. So we're going to actually move this coordinate. So I'm going to go ahead and back and label this again. You have four coordinates. You can label it however you want. I'm going to call it A, B, C, D. You should follow along with me just to make sure that we're consistent on that. And we're going to just go four units up. So I'm going to find the A point, and I'm going to go up four. So I'm going to go up for here's my A point. I'm going to go up one, two, three, four. This is becomes A prime. And I'm going to do the same thing with B. I'm going to go up one, two, three, four. This becomes the B prime. And the D, we're going to go up one, two, three, four. This becomes D prime. And then this C, we're going to go up. One, two, three, four. This becomes the C prime. So our triangle becomes A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. That's the new triangle then. It's actually not a triangle. Sorry, guys. It's a rectangle. I meant to say rectangle. The new image is A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. Both primes mean it's new. It's an image. It has changed. Okay, moving on to the U tri section. Hopefully you're feeling okay with these translations or movements. First one we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and write the coordinates, x comma y. Elevator comes first, up, down comes second. So in this problem, it says that we are going to translate 3 to the right. That's our elevator. We go find our elevator, it's 3 to the right, it's x plus 3. But we're not going to get on the elevator at all, we're going to just stay there, which becomes y. So our translation then is x plus 3 comma y. Just leaving it like that. All right, so for this uh, rectangle here, we're going to call it A, B, C, and D. And for this rectangle, it says that we're going to just move the rectangle 3 to the right. So we're going to take each coordinate and move 3 to the right. So we're going to go ahead and take D and move it 3 to the right. That becomes 1, 2, 3. Drop it. There is D prime. Take C. And if I'm going too fast, you're going to have to pause the video. C to the right. Go to the right. We go 1, 2, 3. That becomes C prime. So there's the start of my new rectangle. A prime, B prime, C prime. D prime is going to occur pretty soon here. A, we're going to start right here. We're going to move over. One, two, three. Ooh, something crazy happened. It ends up right here. So A prime and D are actually in the same spot. It overlaps. Likewise, B is here. If I move it over, one, two, three, that becomes B prime. So B prime and C are in the same spot as well. So there's my new triangle. A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. All right, moving on to the next problem. In the middle box here, we're going to go ahead and write our translation, x comma y. Remember, remember, elevator comes up, up and down comes second. Elevator comes first, up and down comes second. So if we're going to go 6 to the left, that becomes x minus 6, 6 to the left. Find that elevator. But it looks like we're not going up or down at all in this one, so it's just a y. That means that we're staying at the same floor as where we checked in. We don't have to go up or down at all. We're going to go ahead and take this rectangle and label it. Now again, if I'm going too fast, pause the video. A, B, C, and D. A, B, C, and D. You can order it any which way you want, but stay with me on this. We're going to take that entire rectangle and move it 6 to the left. So we're going to take A and move it 6 to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We land right here, which is called A prime. We're going to take B and move 6 to the left. 1, so here's our B. Move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to the left is B prime. We're starting our new rectangle, our image. Our image means it's new. We're going to take D and move it 6 to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That becomes D prime. And then we're going to take C and move it 6 to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That becomes C prime. So there's my new rectangle. A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. How do we feel, 7th grade? Okay, so let's try this next example. We're going to go ahead and write our coordinates first. Where are we at? What's going on? Remember, elevator comes first, up, down comes second. So it says that we're going to go two to the right. Right is the elevator. To find two to the right, it's a plus. X plus two, that's two to the right. Find that elevator. 
And then get on the elevator, and it looks like we're going to go three down. So that's minus three. So your coordinate should be x plus two, y minus three. That should be your coordinate. Everybody should be writing that coordinate. So if we have this triangle labeled A, B, and C, and we take this triangle, we move it two to the right and three down, where would we end up? So we're going to go ahead and move A to the right. One, two, down. One, two, three becomes A prime. Move A to the right, three down becomes A prime. If we move B, two to the right, three down, we move one, two to the right, then down. One, two, three, we land here, which is called B prime. And finally, we take C. We go two to the right, one, two, down. One, two, three becomes C prime. So I'm going to go ahead and change the color on that so it's a little bit easier to read. But this is my new triangle, A prime, B prime, C prime, and it overlaps that C coordinate a little bit. But there is my new triangle, A prime, B prime, C prime. That's after the translation of two to the right, three down, X plus two, Y minus three. All right, guys, let's move on to the next problem. So it says to translate this triangle four units to the right and three units down, what are the coordinates of the image? Now, I'm not gonna make you do that part of it. I'm just gonna have you write the translation and actually translate. Well, I guess we do have to do that part. Sorry about that. All right, so let's go ahead and fill out the bottom section here. So first of all, let's figure out where the trans, uh, where the coordinates are. So the coordinate, if this is our front of our hotel, that's the origin where we check in, we find the elevator. K would be left one, get on the elevator, go up one, left one, up one. J would be left two, up three, left two, up three. And L would be left four, up one. So go ahead and make sure you have those correct. Checking at the front door, find your three hotel rooms, you and your two best friends. So what we're going to do next is we're going to actually translate based on that uh, description up there. So we have a translation of four to the right and three units down. So x plus four, four to the right, there's my elevator, and three units down. So there's my up and down movement down that time. So our translation is going to look like this, four to the right, three down because of translation rules. So we're going to go ahead and take this entire triangle and switch it, four to the right, three down. So we're going to take L to start with, four to the right, one, two, three, four down, one, two, three. This becomes then what we call L prime. Then we're going to take J, four to the right, three down, one, two, three, four down, or four to the right, one, two, three, four down, one, two, three, becomes J prime. And we're going to take K, four to the right, one, two, three, four down, one, two, three, becomes K prime. So we have this triangle, L prime, J prime, K prime. So if we go ahead and find those coordinates then, our J prime is right here, which would be check into the front door of the hotel. You're going to go right to, but you're not going to get on the elevator at all. You're going to just stay right there, which is zero. That's my J prime. That means that your room that you're staying in is, in is in the same floor as the lobby. K prime is right here. So we check in at the front door. We're going to go right to three, find that elevator. Get on elevator, and we're going to go down two. So right three, down two. Three, negative two. How are we doing, guys? Hang in there. I know this is kind of a long, slow lesson. L prime then is right here. For our L prime, we are going to stay, we're going to check into the front door. We're not going to go left or right at all, which is a zero on that left, right movement, finding that elevator, which means the elevator is right there at the front door. But we are going to go down two floors. So there's our translation. There's the new coordinates. And we are done with that problem. All right, we're going to try this trapezoid over here. Trapezoid over here, let's start by finding the coordinates. Check in at the front door of the hotel. Find your room at A. So you're going to go left one, find the elevator, get on the elevator, and go up four. So negative one, four is the location of room A. Do the same thing for B. B is located at right two, up three. Right two, up three. C is located at right three, stay there. Right three, stay there. Go ahead and if I'm going too fast, slow down that video. Pause it, go back, whatever you need to do. D is way down here. Find that elevator first. The elevator is located at negative one. Get on the elevator and go down one floor. So negative one, comma, negative one. Check your work there. Catch up if, you're, if that was too fast. Okay, so now let's go write the translation here. For our translation, it's saying that we are going to go two to the left, 
in four units down. So that's the translation X comma Y. Remember our elevator movement happens first, then our up and down happens after. To the left is X minus two. Four down is Y minus four. So everybody should have the translation up here of X minus two, that's left two. Get on the elevator and go down four, Y minus four. So we're gonna take this entire trapezoid and, trapezoid and switch it left two down four. So we're gonna start with A. We're gonna go left two down four. We're gonna go left two down one, two, three, four. That becomes A prime. Then we're gonna take B, left two, one, two, down one, two, three, four. That becomes B prime. C, we're gonna go left two, one, two, down one, two, three, four. That becomes C prime. And D, we're gonna take left two, one, two, down one, two, three, four. That becomes D prime. Now I'm going to color code that in a different color just so you can kind of see the change that was made there because that a lot of purple going on. This is our translation. We moved that entire trapezoid left to down four. It's congruent, same size, same shape. <coughs> I feel like maybe I made a mistake here. Let me check that B value. Left two down one, two, three, four. That's the mistake there. I'm going to go ahead and change that coordinate. Sorry about that. Got a little bit of an error there, guys. This should have been my trapezoid. It didn't look congruent to me, so I want to make sure I fix that so you're not confused. Okay, so there's my new trapezoid. So let's find the coordinates of that trapezoid. Coordinate A prime. We start at the origin. We go left. Here's my origin. Start at the origin. I go left. One, two, three. Left, three. But I don't go up or down, which means the room I'm staying in is the same floor as the lobby or where I check in. B prime is right here, which means it's no left or right movement at all. If I check into the front door, I'm just going to go down one floor. No left or right movement at all, just down one floor. C prime is located here, which means I'm going to go right one, find that elevator, get on the elevator and go down four floors. So right one, down four. And then D prime is way down here, which means I'm going to go left three, get on the elevator and go down five. Go ahead and check your work there. Make sure you're in good shape. Make sure you're in good shape for translations. So let's talk about some of the rules that we've done for translations. So translations have quite a bit of rules. For our translation rules, I'd like you to copy all of those rules. All of our coordinates are in the form x comma y. For the x coordinate, it's positive for right, negative for left, and for the y coordinate, it's positive for for up and negative for not down. Now I'll be quiet for a second so you have a chance to copy those notes. Everybody should be working. So everybody's copying notes where what are the translation rules? Everything you see on the screen should be copied. Copying those rules that are listed. You can abbreviate if you want. All right, guys, for these translation rules then, and if you need to pause the video, go ahead <coughs> and pause it at this time. Otherwise, we're going to move on. Just a reminder that we find the elevator first, and then we have up and down movements that happen after. So for our translation rules, I'm working in this box right here. It says minus 6. Minus six right here would be a left movement. Finding the elevator, you would say left six, and then after you find the elevator, you're going to go down eight. Left six, down eight. And I'm getting that left from here. There's my left six. And I'm getting my down movement from that Y coordinate, down eight. Left six, down eight. So that's your answer. Left six, down eight. We're trading it in words. What's happening? Remember, we find the elevator first, up and down after. Find the elevator, you're going to go right one to find the elevator. Everybody should be ready. Right one, comma. Then you're going to say down two. Right one, down two. There's the answer to that. Right one, down two.
All right, moving on to the next problem. So there isn't any left or right movement at all here for this elevator. So you don't write anything there. Just leave that blank. The only thing that's happening was we have a down five, which means the elevator is right there at the front door, right, <coughs> right behind the front door. You're just going to get on the elevator and go down five to find your room. Okay, over here, guys. Hang in there. This is a right two. Find that elevator. It's at right two. Then get on the elevator and go down five. So your movement should be right two, down five. There's your answer. Right two, down five. You can abbreviate it if you like. All right, doing good. So now we're going to take some real world examples and use that same terminology left, right, up, down. Describe it using words and then we'll change it to algebraic understanding. So remember that whenever we have an A, it means the original. If it has A prime, that's the image. That means we, that's where we moved it to. So if I look at this, it looks like we have a down movement of one, two, three, four. I'm going to count that again. One, two, three, four. Yes. So what's happening in words here? Down four. Is there anything else happening? What would happen for me to get the blue triangle on top of the red triangle? I just go down four. That's all I do. So is there any elevator movement on that X coordinate? No. It's just my X. No left or right movement at all. Just down four. So your answer should be, I leave X alone but you're gonna go down four. So X comma Y minus four is the algebraic understanding there. <coughs> okay, hang in there guys. We're gonna go from A to A prime. Remember, we always go to A prime. To get the blue triangle sitting on top of the red triangle, I'm gonna have to go right. One, two, three, it looks like, right three. So the words I'll use is right three. Do I need to go up or down at all? No, just right three puts the blue triangle on top of the red triangle. So our coordinates are going to be x comma y. And if I go right three, that's the x movement, that elevator. Find that elevator, right three, x plus three. But I'm not going up or down at all, so it's just y. So I'm going to go ahead and reinforce that. Here's my right three, and here's my y. I'm not going up or down, so I just leave it y in parentheses, x plus three comma y, all in parentheses. That is your answer in algebraic expression. All right, hang in there. Now check this one out. This one's a little funky. We're going to go from A to A prime. So we're actually going to be moving left here on this problem. So this A needs to land on this A prime. So to get there, I'm going to talk about my left right movement first. I'm going to go left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Left, six. Turn the corner, go up. One, two, three. So up three. So I'm going to go from A, left, six up three and I would land on A prime. So the way we write that algebraically is left six, find the elevator, left six, X minus six, up three would be Y plus three. So we would have X plus six, Y plus three. So there's our coordinate X plus, I'm sorry, X minus six is what I meant to say. Take that back guys. I meant to say X minus six comma, y plus 3. Everybody should have x minus 6, y plus 3. That's the translation that we have for that problem. I have good news. We have one left before our summary. It's just been a long lesson. Sorry about the long lesson here, but you need to make sure you have all the parts of translation locked in your brain. Here we go. We're going to go from A to A prime. The A prime is the image. How do we get there? We're going to go right left movements first. We're going to go right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It looks like right 5 right five and then we're going to go up two so how do we write that in expression write five up two right five would be x plus five then we're going to go up to y plus two x plus five y plus two so here is our right five here is our up two right five up two algebraic expression so for our summary today just remember that we're using the elevator analogy up, down first, left, right, second. So, I'm um, pardon me, elevator analogy, left, right, first, up, down, second. Elevator analogy. Fine, elevator, left, right, first, up, down, second. Okay, seventh grade. So, that was our lesson for today on translations. Your homework then is to do pages 20. And 21. Homework for tonight is to do pages 20 and 21. Have a fabulous night.